In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the Tunisian honeycomb stitch. I'm going to be using an afghan hook. This one is a six millimeter hook. And of course, you can use any hook you wish for the size stitches you're looking for. We're gonna start with a slip knot. And the number of chains will be a multiple of two. So I'm going to do 12. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Once you have your multiple of two, you're then going to add one more. And now you are ready to begin. Row one begins just like with a basic stitch. I'm going to be working in these back bumps behind the stitches. I'm going to skip that first stitch and go into the second stitch from the hook. So insert your hook, grab your yarn, and bring up your loop. And you will do this all the way across the chain, leaving all your loops on the hook as you go. And here I have finished row one. All my loops are on the hook and I'm ready to begin row two. Row two will be just like the basic stitch where you grab your yarn, pull through one loop, grab your yarn and pull through two loops. Grab your yarn, pull through two. And you'll continue to do this all the way across the row. And I've almost reached the end of this row. And then you'll get down to where you've only got these last two and go ahead and pull through those last two loops. For row three, we're going to skip this first bar and do a purl stitch under this next one. So to do that, you're going to push your yarn towards the front, insert your hook under that bar, keeping the yarn towards the front of your work. Grab the yarn and bring up your loop. The next stitch will be the basic, so your yarn will go towards the back. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, and bring up your loop. And then you'll alternate between the purl and the basic. So this one will be the purl and then the basic. And then a purl and a basic. Whoops. Pearl and basic. This one will be the pearl and basic. And you'll just keep doing this all the way across. We have two more here, so a pearl here. And then on this last stitch, to keep my edges nice and straight, I like to go under both of those loops. And that'll be your basic stitch there. Just like that. For row four, we will do the standard Tunisian st stitch for going back across the row. So grab your yarn, pull through just that one loop, grab the yarn and pull through two. Grab the yarn, pull through two. And you'll continue to do this all the way across for row four. For row five, we're gonna skip this first bar and we're gonna start with the basic stitch and then do a purl. So it's the opposite of what row three was. So that was my purl, and then I'll do the basic and a purl. And basic, whoops. Let's see, that was a purl, so this will be the basic and then a purl. And you'll just continue this all the way across. For row six, you will repeat what you did with row 
four. So grab your yarn, pull through that first loop, grab your yarn, pull through two. And you'll continue this for the remainder of row six. Once you have completed row six, you will go back and repeat starting at row three. So from this point on, you will repeat rows three through six until you've reached the length that you're looking for. And here I've done a few rows. You can see this nice honeycomb where it comes out and then in. Makes a nice little pattern. And to finish off your work, we'll do some slip stitches. I'm gonna skip that first bar and just go under the next one and do a slip stitch. And you'll do this all the way across and it'll give it that nice finished edge to where it matches the other side. Just all the way across. And you can see the difference between just leaving it like that or doing this extra little step to finish it off and that way it matches the other side, makes a nice smooth corner.